and uh, and <laughs> our good friend, Dr. Michael Lackey. Thank you so much, Kevin. What a pleasure and an honor to be back on uh, this Wednesday on Open Mic Magic. I'm going to really stretch myself uh, this day and try two experiments of the mind. It's time I tested my mantle or, or my shelving or something. Regardless, um, if we can bring up uh, somebody, Kev, one or two folks, that would be really appreciated. In the meantime, while that's happening, I wanna preface this about animals and how much I really do enjoy. Um, there we are, there's Cheryl and Michaela. They are no longer the Brat Pack, apparently. How are you guys this day? You need to unmute. Doing all right, how are you? I'm good. Awesome, awesome. Always a pleasure and an honor to have you um, assist me this day. It's an experiment of the mind which may or may not work. It depends. And I'm going to share this with all of you, including Cheryl and Mick. Um, I loved animals growing up, but growing up in a relatively large city like Montreal, they were always caged. We had the Granby Zoo. I'm not even sure if it still exists there. And, you know, it's all well and fine. You see these animals behind bars and it's, it's sort of like maybe the humans should be behind bars and the animals should be out looking. Uh, regardless, we also had just outside of Montreal, it's like, I guess we'd call it a wild game reserve. There'd be these um, uh, lions and tigers and monkeys, oh my, running and walking and prancing about giraffes as well. And you could drive through um, and they'll jump on your car and it's, it's kind of a neat experience. Um, as I lived further west in Canada, um, they, they had more open air kind of zoos similar to that, still with no bars, but still the, the animals are kept within a relatively, uh, for us, safe, maybe for them they're safer, being somewhat of a distance from us, I'm not sure. But on this, on this day, one of the experiments we're going to conduct has to do with animals and what brought to mind um, uh, the whole topic of animals was the tropics, was jungles and the Amazon and all the different kinds of beasts that exist there. And one day I hope to, uh, to visit and, and to see these. But um, Cheryl, I'm, I'm gonna share this with, with people out there. Before the show, I did speak with you and I asked you to focus on one of the great beasts. <clears throat> well, it could be uh, any number of beasts in either a zoo or the tropics or anywhere. And other than that, we have prearranged nothing. And I wanna emphasize that to folks. So I'd like you now, and the reason for the chalkboard is I find that it creates more of a vivid image, the white on the black as opposed to pencil or ink on white. It's, it's a little bit more vivid. And especially if you're trying to visualize as well. So I'm going to ask you please, Cheryl, to focus on one of these animals. Don't tell me yet what it is. And please, first, picture in writing the name of the animal. I don't mean, of course, George or Sam, but of course, the what kind of animal it is, <clears throat> excuse me. And then perhaps a picture in your mind very vividly of the animal, of the creature, please. And um, I, I don't know. Um, because there's a number of things going on. It, it's not a lion, is it? Yes. Cheryl, yeah. it is a lion? Yes. Fantastic. So we hit right off the bat. Awesome. Thank you so much. I didn't even have to jot it down. That's greatly, <laughs> greatly appreciated. Um, and thank you. I think you guys deserve a round of applause for that. I'd like to, to move on. And this is my first time actually, and we'll need Cheryl and Michaela there uh, at the same time as well. No, well, we could scout the audience for other people. However, we're going to do an effect that this is my first time doing this experiment using a newspaper. And 
who can we bring up? Can we bring back the same folks or other folks? It really doesn't matter. I love a good surprise. Or is it? So with this experiment of the mind, going to use a slip of paper. It's actually um, part of a whole thing. And we're going to, upon your command, whoever's there, I'm going to move the paper clip up and down and wherever you see fit. Oh, it's Micah. <laughs> Micah, how are you this day? Oh, I'm so happy to see you, Doc. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin, yeah. for putting me on. Yay. We always love putting you on, <laughs> Micah, because you put us on a great deal as well. So uh, always a pleasure. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm about to do. Um, we've prearranged nothing. Correct. Is that correct? That is Excellent. correct. So as I was prefacing this, we've got a section of the newspaper. It's actually an old, it's yellow. That's that's how old it is, kind of like myself. Yeah. However, I'm going to slowly move the paper clip down the page. And wherever you see fit in a moment, I'm going to ask you to say stop. So I'll I'll commence in a while. But first, I want to make... <clears throat> excuse me, something of a prediction here. And um, again, it's a tricky day. I'm getting something. I don't think it's that. We'll try. That, that doesn't, I don't know. And it's not you, Micah, it's me. I'm having a bit of a, a time. I've written down three things here, which I'll show you in a, in a moment. But first, I want to, we'll start. And then we'll see where this ends up. I love spontaneity. So I'm going to move the paper clip down. And upon your command, in a moment... I'll stop, but obviously don't wait until I've gone past the paper because it's, it's no fun that way. All right. So here we go. And wherever it feels right. Stop. Stop. Okay. I didn't hear yes, your please. audio. Very, very good. So we didn't get too far. We didn't get too far at all on this. And I want to wherever my slate is, I want to hold this up. We have somewhere in the middle, it kind of looks like go or hands or anything amongst all the other yeah. words, go hands. And, and that's probably why ah. I, I had a, a ah. problem making that prediction or that hunch, if you Beautiful. will. Beautiful. Micah, thank you so much for helping. I don't know where I'd be without my audience assistance. Thank you so much. And we'll see you all soon. Thank you, Kev. Bravo. Right. Right. So, uh, hands. Uh, very well done. Thanks, Dr. Michael. Excellent. Right. Okay. Before we... Uh, move